Our top story this morning, President Park Geun-hye is expected to call on North Korea to put its recent frustrations aside and attend high-level inter-Korean talks as planned. The meeting is hanging in the black balance after the North reacted angrily last week to balloons launched by South Korean activist groups, which were filled with flyers denouncing the regime. Our Shin Se-min reports. All eyes will be on President Park Geun-hye on Monday. The president has called a meeting of a unification preparation committee where she could deliver a formal statement on the icy relations between the two Koreas. If so, it'll be the first such statement since a group of high-level North Korean delegates arrived in Seoul last week and met with their southern counterparts. Following the delegation's arrival, Pyongyang warned the talks could be canceled if Seoul wasn't able to stop the anti-North propaganda leaflets that crossed the border on Friday. Although it is still unclear whether the talks will go ahead, many observers seem to think it is unlikely that the president will veer from its current policy direction of pursuing inter-Korean talks. On Sunday, the South urged the North to stick to the plan, with Prime Minister Chung Won saying at an athletic event with a group of North Korean defectors that the need for inter-Korean talks is even greater given various pressing humanitarian aid issues. He said that although there may be challenges ahead, if the North is sincere about the talks, the two Koreas will eventually be able to come together. On Friday, the North fired anti-aircraft machine guns in an attempt to bring down dozens of balloons flown by South Korean civic groups containing anti-Pyongyang propaganda. Some of the North machine gun rounds landed south of the border, prompting the South Korean military to fire back around 40 K-6 machine gun rounds of its own, drawing additional fire from the North. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.